hi everyone in today's video i am going to introduce to you the different strategies for mixed method designs to employ in your research now although there are several process models within mixed methods research in today's video i will only deal with the implementation that is the data collection and the priority that would refer to which method is given precedence and integration the process of analysis and incorporation of findings the implementation aspect of this video indicates if the data was collected at the same time which would be then called concurrent or at one at a time which is sequential the first aspect of the research process then determines the potential strategy that can be used although the strategies that i will discuss today do not represent all the possible strategies they will definitely provide some insight into the type of design issues that must be considered in this type of mixed method research so let's get started with the first type the first type is called sequential explanatory this design strategy is a straightforward in the sense that the quantitative data is followed by the qualitative data and they are collected and analyzed which is then so one data is collected and analyzed and then followed by the collection and analysis of the qualitative data the priority typical is given to the quantitative data and the two methods are integrated during the interpretation phase this type of strategy is considered when the qualitative data assumes the role of explaining the quantitative data let me give you an example let's say the teacher used video to engage the students student learning right now it was found that the students were having higher engagement with their learning if the teacher used videos and that was reflected through the quantitative study but to explain why the engagement occur you might have to employ a qualitative study to explain the findings the second type of mixed method strategy is a sequential exploratory the previous one was explanatory this one is exploratory this design strategy also has data collected in two separate phases but the priority is given to whichever is data is collected first all right so if qualitative is collected first that will be given priority or if quantitative is given collected first then that would be given priority this strategy generally tends to have qualitative data collected first and then followed by the quantitative data so the qualitative data collected first and the integration of the two types of data that is qualitative and quantitative is done at the interpretation phase all right this strategy is used when the goal is to test the elements of an emerging theory from the qualitative data so if you have heard about it then from qualitative data sometimes you can derive something called grounded theory all right so the theory emerges through the collection of qualitative data and then to test the theory you can engage in a quantitative studies which will maybe employ a higher sample or something like that to trans to confirm the findings of the qualitative study the third type of mixed method study is a sequential transformative this design strategy collects data in two separate phases and the priority is given on theoretical right so it is given on the theoretical perspective that guides the study so the theoretical perspective would provide the framework as to the manner in which the interpretation would be handled this strategy may be more appealing and acceptable to those researchers already using a transformative for example if you have heard of critical race theory so they are already employed a transformative framework then this strategy is often used but this is seldom seen in published research but every researcher is guided by a certain theory right so the priority is given to the theory whatever data method confirms the theory or works with the theory that is the one which is given priority so there are other theories of course there is a constructivist theory 
so what we do is we give precedence to the theory we give importance to the theory that we have taken in consideration and then whichever data is supporting that theory that is what is given precedence then we have something called very popularly used is called concurrent triangulation this is one of the most popular ones and i'm sure you have heard of it this strategy collects data at the same time but it is done to confirm or substantiate findings within a single study the goal in this type of strategy tends to offset the weakness of one method with another method priority can be given to either qualitative or quantitative and the integration occurs at the interpretation phase by providing convergence in the findings or explaining the lack of convergence so you can use it either to confirm or discredit your findings but both are collected at the same time so you might have surveys and then follow up interviews together to confirm so if i go back to the same example then you can see that if the teacher used videos to engage students in learning and higher engagement was found then that higher engagement will be confirmed by both the quantitative surveys and the qualitative interviews both will confirm the findings then we go on to the concurrent nested method in this strategy the data is again collected simultaneously but priority is given to the method that guides the research design of your study all right so this type of strategy can be used to broaden the understanding of a phenomena by using more than one method this strategy has more potential for researchers but should be used with care because many research decisions must be justified in the process so let's say you have concept come out with a concept theory all right it might be a novel theory and to get more understanding of this theory then you can use the mixed method or to or to verify your theory to the examiners or to verify the theory to your readers or whoever is uh, going through your thesis then those methods are used the quantitative and qualitative both they guide the new theory the research design that guides your study and finally we have the concurrent transformative although the data in this type of study is collected at the same time with the strategy the priority and integration are guided by the researchers theoretical perspective again all right so here they are collected at the same time and guided by the theoretical perspective just like the sequential transformative strategy the process is heavily guided by the transformative nature of the research questions and the theoretical perspective as well all right so it all comes down to what you are keeping at the center is it the theory is it the research design is it the research question is it to confirm the findings is it to uh, you know uh, following the quantitative by qualitative or either or so it all comes down to that's why i said that it all comes down to the implementation the priority or the integration all right so the use of specific strategies in mixed method research is of course uh, there are a lot of strategies but they are mostly new and uh, you have to choose the right strategy whichever is relevant for your type of research so i cannot recommend any one it will all come down to what you are keeping in the center is it a theory is it your data is it your uh, uh, you know, just to confirm the findings so it comes down to that or your research design all right so let me know guys what you thought about this video and i will keep making more videos on topics like this to help you understand what are the strategies you can use for data collection and analysis in your research bye for now.